card ditch numbers two out of five. I also have the sequel on VHS, which I have for the longest time since 2011, which is 10 years. And I feel like I've decided I wanted to get this movie on VHS, so I just decided to pick it up. Although, from what I heard, this seems kind of like a almost a sad movie, but I just decided to get this movie because I've been wanting to get it. So, yeah. And I might have to give this along with the sequel a watch someday. And um, for all of the VHS tapes, um, oh, wait, oh, man, I forgot something. Sorry, I just need to get something. I just realized I forgot to bring one DVD in the update before I had to start recording. Right here. That's the DVD I must have forgot to bring it to here before... I begin to start recording the update video, but like right now anyways, um, for the VHS tapes and one DVD, um, those five VHS tapes along with the one DVD, I got from Valley Village when I was out of town on Tuesday, which I didn't get back until the night, which is before 10 p.m., which is almost light. So, yeah. And, um, for the two of the VHS tapes I got from eBay, um, one of them's yesterday and one of them's today, which we'll get into those momentarily, but right now I'm just going to show y'all the five VHS tapes, which I got from Valley Village when I was out of town on Tuesday, including this one DVD, which we'll get into momentarily. For this one and this one right here, they're both my, well, I believe I should say they're my first two Walt Disney Family Film Collection tapes. They're my first two, I believe. Family Film Collection. Family Film Collection. Yep. Sorry, I was just checking the label to see if it's right. On this or not but it is just wanted to check to make sure cottage numbers one out of five hmm the clamshell is beating up like wait Hmm, kind of like a broken piece right here. Not in the greatest shape. Oh, wait. Hmm. Seems to me it came off already. Hmm. It's not good. Hopefully the tape will play good without any bad issues, which I'll have to test it out later. But like right now anyways, um, that's it for the clamshells. And now on to the sleep cases. Now, um, the next two tapes, or maybe I might as well leave it like this, like, what the heck I could do? But, like, right now, anyways, um, the next two tapes are two more Planet of the Apes original series movies for my collection. Um, those two BHS tapes. Um, I also have the other one on VHS, which is the original... Which is the original 1967 movie, which I believe it was renewed in 1995. Which, the one I had for the longest day, I mean, for the longest time I should say, my apologies, which, this is the one I have right now. I have two more for the collection. So, this next one is... Wait, let me see if they're correct. Wait, yep. Just wanted to check to see if the ones I'm showing them to you all right now in the right order, but it is in the right order. But like right now anyways, what I meant to say is 
this next one I'm showing is Escape from Planet of the Apes movie. This is from, I believe, well, the movie is from 1971. The print date is September 25th, 1999. Even though this is a 1998 VHS. Later pressing. This next one is Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. This is from 1972, I believe. They are both special collector's edition series, I believe. October 6, 1999. Once again, even though it's a 1998 features, another later pressing. Here's the last tape I bought from Vi Village when I was out of town on Tuesday. The print date is May 9th to Buzz It Bond. As you can see, this is a rental from Blockbuster, and that's how where the Blockbuster and label used to be, but I peel some of it off just because to reveal this print date right here, while some of it's a little right here still intact by this label, which I'm not going to peel all off. I'm just gonna leave it some as this one. But like yeah, this is just because to reveal this print date right here. So yeah, alrighty then, and now the last of the two features which I'm about to show are the ones I bought from eBay. So this next one, I got this yesterday. Another Thomas and Friends tape for the collection, and this one's also a wear tape. I also have this on DVD and I even remember years ago, like I believe back in 2006 or 2008, I rented this tape from Richmond Hill Public Library and I believe I used to rent this from Richmond Green Public Library, which I believe Back in 2007 or 2010, I don't know. But this is a new copy I finally own. So yeah. The print date is December 15, 2004, even though this is a 2005 VHS. This is an early print and as you can barely see right here, it says slash w or maybe w slash train symbol right here which that's how this tape originally used to came with the toy train maybe the seller must have thrown off before the seller must have sold this tape and 
If you could take a look at this on the lid, see that? Yep, the lid was broken on this tape, which it was like this when I got it because of the how I saw the piece fell on the case and yep, the lid must have broken. Hmm, this must have happened during shipping, but I haven't tested, but if hopefully this should still work. And whenever I got this tape, it came with this Disney insert, which honestly I don't feel like keeping it in here. Since Thomas and Friends wasn't from Walt Disney, which I meant to keep it somewhere else in some of the VHS tapes. Hmm. Even though I'm not gonna keep this in that tape, I might as well be showing this off anyways. I'm sorry that it's just that you cannot see the stuff too well still, it's just because I just want to show this a little quick just so I could get this video done for y'all. Hmm. So yeah, for this I'm going to have to keep in some different features tape somewhere else, not on this since Thomas and Friends wasn't from Walt Disney. Oh wait, actually... I might as well leave it like this. I'm not gonna do it like this. I might as well leave it like this by putting in like that instead. That's the way I'm gonna be doing it. Although it ain't necessarily, but what the heck I could do since it's my VHS tapes. Okay, now um, this um, last VHS tape. This is also where, and I got this from eBay today. Yep, finally managed to get myself another Fairy Odd Parents Beaches for my collection. And I even bought it for cheap too, so why not? And I do even know Brandon's Movie Corner has this tape, which I don't know what year he bought it from, but. At least if this is the tape I now have. The print date is the 51st week of 2004, so... Even though this is a 2005 feature, so... This tape's a... Also early print. Yep, early print. Hmm. Hmm. Before I have to show off the DVD, I just need to show you a little something on this tape, which is you can as you can probably already tell, um, there's a better residue on this right window right here. Hmm. I'm probably guessing that how that's how this tape used to come with a rental sticker, but somebody else must have Got it all out. Hmm. Hmm. Because of how it used to be a sticker right here, I believe it must have been a rental from a on um, video store. Or maybe it's because of this sticker, which I could be wrong though, but I believe it was a rental from Hastings, but I might as well be wrong because. Well, I'm just going to believe it was a rental from Omnim Omnon Video Store. Like, like yeah. I'm just going to believe that this tape is a rental from a Omnon Video Store. I just don't know. But like right now anyways, um, that's now going to cover up for the features tapes. And now on to the DVD. My third Kipper DVD for my collection. 
I also have this on VHS, and I even went number back in 2008. I rented this DVD from Richmond Hill Public Library. And now this, I own my new copy. Alrighty then. Now, um, that's going to do it for my VHS DVD update done for September 18, 2021 done. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in a next upload and hope you all take care of yourselves. Um, this is Mustafa's Movie Corner signing out.